Capricorn, this is your forecast for June 2021. And there's a couple of things I'd like to specifically focus on here for the most important things on your journey here in June. The first thing is Jupiter. Jupiter has changed signs and now moving into um, Pisces. And normally it takes a whole year for Jupiter to move through any sign and it entered into Aquarius, top of the year. Here we are five months in and it already supersonically moved through Aquarius and your second house. So I can see a lot of you um, Capricorn right now that you've been looking at how you expanded your, your income, right? Maybe new avenues opened up for you and all that is great. But lo and behold, now that it's moving into your third house, the shift is going to be different. Now it's going to be focusing on short distance travel or interaction more so with your community, uh, your neighbors and uh, your siblings, perhaps too, getting out of Dodge, perhaps as well. Short distance travel is now here for the third house, but Jupiter rules long distance. So some of you might feel finally that you can get that itch removed by actually getting out of the house a little bit more. That's the good news. But listen, don't feel that you're being gypped by having only five months in your financial sector because here early autumn, Jupiter will retrograde, go back into your second house for the rest of the year. So you will have more time to kind of look at how you can perfect your income uh, level. But what you're feeling now, summer, with the need to be out and about and travel and interact with those you haven't seen that lives far away or out of town, you'll have more of that. And what you're going to be experiencing this summer, you're going to have that for the most part of 2022. So right now, it's like a little preview, a little sense of what you can experience long term next year. Now, the third house is also where your Neptune currently is. And Neptune has been with you in this sector for a long time. So those of you, uh, Capricorn, that feel that you've been working with your visions, your spirituality, that kind of inner spiritual growth, Jupiter is going to add to it, okay? And when the both of them are cruising together and in the sign of Pisces, which in fact they both rule, Jupiter is the ancient ruler of Pisces, Neptune is the current ruler of Pisces, when we put these two together, I can see how there's going to be this huge shift internally, spiritually, mentally, right? Metaphysically, that you might feel how all of your six senses now coming together, where you're going to be that much more intuitive. So even though you're Capricorn, you're going to get this sense of how it is to be a true Piscean, right? Because that's how they always roll. You're going to have this for a while. So pay attention to those extra little antennas that they're going to get because why when we go by intuition we navigate through life totally different right and this is now going to teach you how to listen to your heart listen to your intuition that's the greatest message of this i feel and then we have mercury retrograde this month too 24 degrees they're in Gemini. And so, of course, we always want to be very super careful with whatever we put our signature to. Any kind of new contracts, be aware uh, that things can go haywire, can be delayed, or maybe you're going to have to retweak it down the road. So unless we really, really have to put our name to any contract, let's wait to July. All right. And the same thing goes for any kind of moving devices, you know, any new smartphones, anything new electronic or any big, big uh, things that you want to buy. Be careful with that, too, because those appliances might just end up going haywire as well. But this retrograde is taking place in your sixth house. This is where the sun, this is where Venus and this is where the new moon is as well. So one of your main focuses here in June is about your health. Sixth house is all about health. What we eat, you know, and what shouldn't we eat? It's time to kind of tweak our diets. It's time to get focus on and get into maybe new health programs and start moving a little bit, right? And uh, so Venus will be with you here to the third of the month. Then it's moving into your seventh house of love and relationships. Beautiful placement for Venus to be because that's allowing you to share and receive more so of that romantic love from your partner, 
your significant other. If you're single, this could be a great time to attract somebody into your life. Venus goes through your seventh house once every year. This is the time for you to be that magnet. Now, Mars has just cruised through. Um, it will on the 23rd. No, I'm sorry. It will on the 12th. It's currently 23 degrees. But on the 12th, Mars will move into your eighth house. So in May, Mars was actually cutting out the path that Venus now is going to follow. You know, so I feel anything with relationships here end of May and into June is a good time to focus on how can you grow this area of your life, perfect it. Mars only goes through here once every two years, right? So now is the time to actually put down those footprints. Venus will come and pick it up. And it's all in how you relate with your partner and how you are able to receive. Receiving is equally, you know, a lesson. Some of us have our walls up. How can we receive if the walls are up? Focus on bringing those walls down. Speak your heart. Speak your truth. Be genuine. This is allowing your partner to get more of a feel of how you're feeling, right? And so we can improve and lift this area to a higher dimension. That's what growth is all about. So yes, we have those things that are super, super important in June. We have the new moon, which is taking place 19 degrees, and that will be June 10th. And uh, so the new moon is always our intentions. Your intentions this month uh, here it would be about your health. And not only that, sixth house is also about how we organize our lives. Are we hoarding? Are we messy? Do we have small little projects here and there and kind of off-putting it to a later time? Your intention right now could really help you for the rest of the year and into next year at the same time. It's like, I'm going to be on top of it. I'm going to take it and clean it up, right? And why? Because then we have more of a sense of luxury, that things flow easier when we don't have clutter. Time to unclutter your office, your bedroom, your closets, all of those things that just kind of steal energy when it's just laying there waiting for, you know, a rainy day. So that intention will help you for the rest of the year if you focus on it there on June 10th. Then, then we have the full moon. This is going to be in your sign, Capricorn, uh, three degrees. And so the full moon will always illuminate the area of where it's at. For you, it will be the first house, meaning you on a personal level, the I am, right? It's the I am that you show outwards to the world. It's on your horizon, right? On the ascendance. So I feel that whatever you're portraying, whatever you're coming out with, this will come into the limelight. You will feel that whatever you've been working on, the accomplishment of that will now come in. This is awesome for you. So that's on June 24th. And by the way, we have midsummer there, 23rd, 24th. So we're going to have that big, beautiful full moon to celebrate that with as well. So let me just end up saying Mars being in your eighth house now uh, in June after the 12th. So the last couple of weeks, Mars is going to look to your savings, your investments. You know, how are they doing? Are you putting enough money aside? Or are you not? Are you just splurging the paycheck you're getting? Well, Mars is trying to carve out something that can really behoove you in the long term. Only comes to this area once every two years. So you're kind of resetting uh, the checks and the balances there. Um, but it also rules any other income that you may have. Royalties, commissions. You know, it might point towards your, your mortgage cryptocurrency investments, and you know that's a huge thing right now. So I could see some of you kind of going down that path. Mars kind of looking at, can I make more money by investing into cryptocurrencies? Well, it is smart right now, because if we look at finances, which is more so ruled by uh, Taurus, what's happening with Taurus? Taurus has Uranus in its sign, and Uranus is all about the internet decentralized type of monies. So yeah, I could see that you could do well. Um, just bear in mind though, don't go crazy, especially 
Now when Mercury is retrograde, right, until the 23rd, so you don't want to go investing a whole lot, but research this area. Because once it's in there and Mercury is going direct after the 23rd, so July could be a big month, especially then because Venus is coming in too. So whatever you're researching that Mars is doing right now, Venus can come in and actually drop a little bit in to your investments. And of course, cryptocurrencies, it's hot these days. It's exciting these days. Some of you might just be able to bank out on it. So that's pretty much the short and the skinny Capricorn for June. I uh, wish you a beautiful month and I'll see you again in July. Bye now.